If the family hears that they're going to be separated, they love their family. They don't come. All right. We're back with our panel, News Nation Politics editor Chris Steyerwalt, Trump's former acting White House Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney, White House columnist yes. Brian Karam, the CEO of the Global Situation Room, Johanna Masca, and spokeswoman for MAGA Inc., Caroline Levitt. Whew, it's a mouthful. Okay, now, uh, I want to focus on uh, one topic tonight that uh, was just teed up there that could determine, in my estimation, uh, what is to come in our presidential and midterm elections, uh, the next term elections, because Chris Steyerwalt, if the people I'm talking to, uh, and Brian can check me on this, uh, who were in the job and are in the job, if they're even half right about what they're expecting in terms of what pictures we're going to see and what potential bad outcomes there may be on the border, uh, it could be a real flashpoint. Uh, uh, do you think that there is a chance of that? And what is the calculus in your mind, Chris? So, you know, Democrats that were uh, are ecstatic tonight about this town hall because to the point that was made earlier that uh, persuadable voters are repulsed by Trump and the way he conducts himself. And there's lots of truth in that. But Democrats enthusiasm for Donald Trump's ongoing success in the primaries mis misunderstands, understates the potential for a Donald Trump victory over Joe Biden in a general election. And when we think about how that might come to pass, certainly the economy is an issue, certainly crime is an issue, certainly Joe Biden's advanced age is an issue, but immigration and border security, Biden is trying to toughen up his brand. He's looking for, he's looking for something else, but that's a place where Republicans and Trump in particular have the advantage. Masca, are you a little surprised that the administration isn't teeing up, bringing the National Guard down there or doing an emergency stopgap measure um, to have ugly scenes on their watch in the next 72, 96 hours? It's, it's going to be ugly. And um, we've seen, you know, ugly scenes that were unanticipated uh, have a very negative effect, thinking Afghanistan. But I do think that the Biden administration is trying to take force to the border and that eventually they're going to fly people back to their home country. They're, they are actually strengthening the laws to get people back to their home country if they don't qualify for asylum. And so one of the things, though, that we're missing with this debate is the reason people are coming here, they're fleeing regimes that have become more authoritarian. If you look at Venezuela or Colombia or even India with Modi, they are trying to get to a place where we have freedom. And I think we have to be very careful. So we've got to remember that that authoritarian trend is what we're seeing in Donald Trump. Um, Mick Mulvaney, though, isn't this the best issue you have going in terms of the key concern for American families, which is safety? You've got a lot of great issues to run on against Joe Biden. I and mean, if that's your question, the border is going to be a problem. Law and order safety is going to be a problem. The economy is still going to be a problem. We're all expecting that there's going to be a recession between now and the next election. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's no shortage of issues. The question is going to be, is the 2024 election, if we assume it's Trump versus Biden for sake of this discussion, does it turn into a binary choice between those two people or does it become a referendum on Donald Trump, which is what I think happened in 2020? There are very few people who can right. beat Donald Trump in an election. Donald Trump is one of them. So, yeah, you could throw all the, all, the, all the issues you want out there that Biden is weak on. But if Trump makes it about himself one way or the other, they're not going to make any difference. Um, Caroline, give me a quick take. Do you believe that the next 72, 96 hours uh, could be the best uh, determiner of what you see happen in the upcoming election? I think the next 72 to 92 hours, as you say, Chris, are going to be devastating for our country. It is a tragedy what has occurred at our border every single day over the past 18 months. And our fellow pan panelist here, Brian Karam, who I worked with at the White House, Brian, I remember you well. You said that the Trump administration didn't build a border wall. Ken Cuccinelli, the former acting deputy secretary of Homeland Security, said there was more than 400 miles of border wall built. That man is ironic. So he lied. Now. Big deal. And, I was uh, there. 
the super PAC for so we lied. Governor Ron DeSantis, who is President Trump's main opponent. I will take the word of our United States Border Patrol agents who are down there on the front lines, mm -hmm. seeing young women and girls raped and trafficked over our border every day, seeing thousands of Just make some more stuff up. Just make it all about uh, making stuff up. Right the here the problem with the border has been Over ongoing since 1983. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.